Good morning, everybody. Uh, I will begin this one with a, uh, with a question. How many of you in this room drive American cars? Raise your hand. <laughs> wow, a handful. Okay. <laughs> and how many of you in the room, for your next car, you will consider buying American cars? Wow, way more. That's great. Okay. For, for everyone in the room, that hopefully after today's presentation, that you will at least consider uh, thinking about the uh, buy American car in, for your next one, because buy American, it's time for your car. So why you should buy American cars? First of all, it's a very strong support for your economy, for America. Second of all, it will also benefit you. So let's see how it goes. Let's talk about your country first. Uh, America have a very rich car history. Beginning from Henry Ford, who introduced uh, a similar line in the automotive industry, beginning the era of uh, massive production. Since then, the innovation never stopped, and the arena changed to California. We had a very famous Tesla Model S, which is the most uh, popular electrical vehicle in the history. And also, we have Google driverless cars, which is very ambitious, it will fundamentally change the automotive industry. These are the movements of the automotive industry, and these are the pride of America. Second of all, by America will create jobs to America. So let's play a game first. I choose three companies. I show their sales volume and charts. So in 2013, company Blue sell 2.8 million, company Orange sell 2.2 million, and company Gray sell 1.3 million. And let's see how many people they hire. Um, this didn't seem very proportional, and let's make the message more clear. So I, I make the uh, transformation of message. We can see that for sale 1 million vehicles, Company Blue will need to will hire 27,000 people. Company Orange hire 14,000 people, and Company Gray hire 4,000 people. So it's time for you to guess who are these companies. I think you might already have some chance. So Company Blue is GM, company Orange is Toyota, and company Gray is Hyundai. Let's make it very clear. This is not about efficiency because all these uh, additional headcounts, they all go to the headquarters here, the R&D center here, the manufacturing factory here, and also the, uh, the supply chain here. So when we talk about um, the um, uh, automotive industry can create jobs, it's not only about the manufacturers, it's also about the, uh, the car uh, supply, car component suppliers. You can let's talk about the uh, percentage of domestic domestic content uh, of each uh, each models. For GM, about seventy percent <coughs> of the uh, components they are shot in America. For Toyota, the number is thirty five percent, and for Hyundai, it's thirty percent. So, uh, according to a research done by the uh, Center of car, uh, Automotive Research, they told they told us that if America OEMs reduce their percentage of domestic content from 70% to 35%, the suppliers will need to cut 1 million jobs across the US. So this gives you a very clear message that how important automotive industry is to, uh, to the economy here. And as MBA students, we all know a very strong economy will benefit us MBA in the long run. So, uh, but some of you might think, okay, I'm not John McCain, why country first? So, uh, <laughs> so let's talk about you, by yourself, how buying American cars can benefit you. Uh, when we are buying American buy cars, what do we think about first? Of course, the quality. So let's talk about quality. The American cars can give you the top-notch quality in the world. According to J.D. Power, which is a uh, world-famous uh, research company, they, re they release uh, the quality of the automotives uh, every year. This is the snapshot of their screens in, uh, for 2013. Let's take a look. For the top five models, two of them come from American brands. And they are just next to the Porsche, which is an Acura, which are luxury brands. So this gives us a very clear message that US, US vehicles can give you the quality, if not better than others, as good as others. And let's talk about Toyota. I mean, this is very famous, right? They are only number nine on the rank. So, 
Um, second of all, what do we think about? Fuel economy, we're in California. Oil prices are always probably the whole life. So um, when, we, when we buy our cars, we always think about we want to save some money on, on the gas. Talk about, talk about the uh, fuel economy. You can see that for the three equivalent size models, Chevrolet, Cruze, Toyota, Corolla, and Honda Civic, they all have very similar miles per gallon. Some people might go say, I want more green cars, that's why I go to Prius. Talk about Prius, look at Ford uh, Focus Electrics. It has 10 more miles per gallon than for the Prius. And then we have the very famous Tesla Model X, so that they can have <laughs> infinity miles per gallon because you don't need any oil to run on the road. And we, as end users, we all know that if we are as good as others, we cannot, we cannot beat others. That's why we talk about what American cars can be their expectations. It's about roominess and comfort. Look at this handsome guy. This is Blake Oliver. I think many of you in the room know him. He is he's our Anderson student, and he's driving Chevrolet Malibu. <laughs> he told us that the one thing he cannot give up on this car is the roominess. Um, then once, he gave us a ride from Anderson to LAX. So, uh, five of us, five guys, get in one car with five luggage at the back truck. We all have a very comfort uh, trip on the road. <laughs> okay, so now you know why you need to buy American cars. Because it is very strong support for your economy, and also it will benefit you uh, in an unexpected way. Let me tell you a story. It's a story about dreams. This is a city. It was once the fourth biggest city in America. The people there get their hands very dirty so that you can sit behind the wheels to chase your dream. However, now the time goes bad. The city get ruined. And the people there, they lose their jobs, they lost their homes, some of them, they lost their, they lost their dreams. But they didn't give up. They, all, they, they didn't give up. They, are, they, they put every effort to stand back. And all they want is just a chance for them to prove that they can be as good as everybody else. So, now this is your turn. Next time, when you're thinking about buying a car, will you think about buying American cars? Because there are American economy in it, there are the best technology in it, and there are people's dream in it. Very good presentation, very animated, very lively. 